This week saw hundreds of students around the island receive their A-level results and tomorrow many more discover how they did in their GCSEs. And with this being the traditional route for education today, it's often easy to miss the other options that are available. In recent times, more and more people have been choosing to undertake vocational qualifications such as BTECs. Now, although these are widely accepted, there can still be some misunderstanding around them as people don't really know what they are, what they mean and just how valuable they can be. Well, we're joined by Joe Richardson, who's the vice principal of the University College Isle of Man. Um, and Joe, you said in the start of the show that vocational um, qualifications really centre more around skills. What mm. exactly does that mean then? If I can just explain, where if you've got a line where you've got theoretical on one end of it and you've got practical at the other end of it, vocational qualifications tend to be in the middle and then towards the practical side. So we've got a mix of theory and practical in general ones called BTEX, but we've also got some that are very, very practical, where more like our city and guilds qualifications, where you may do plumbing or painting and decorating or motor vehicle. So there is a whole range of these, and I said there's just a scale at which they come along, and assessment can vary depending on where you are on the scale. So if you're very, very theoretical, uh, so for example, say pure maths A level, very, very theoretical, you probably sit a couple of exams at school. If you were doing motor vehicle, you would have to do lots of practical tests. It's more important that they demonstrate that they can change your brake pads than talk about it, really, isn't it? Mm. So that's where the practical side comes in. I said, then in the middle, we have a range where sometimes they're assessed with exams, but there's also a large practical element, skill-based element to the qualifications. So really, it's horses for courses and which one suits you as an individual better. And that's brilliant, actually, because everybody learns in different ways, don't Mm. they? Oh, absolutely. And we find that students often come to us where they've gone through the the GCSE system and they found coming then and being able to do lots of practical tasks opens a whole new world for them because they can suddenly see things and achieve at things that they haven't been able to. I must add here, though, the schools are very, very good on the island. A lot of secondary schools are introducing more and more vocational qualifications. So even people as young as 14 get that wider broad opportunity. And how long have uh, has UCM been offering these sort of qualifications? Oh, uh, more than 20 years, 20, 30 years. They've been around a long time. Employers do recognise them, particularly some industries, when they are uh, really classed as the golden standard for those industries. Um, BTEX is a, a word you mentioned briefly, and they have been... Um, industry standard for so long now that people just automatically talk in terms of national certificates and national diplomas. Uh, ONCs, HNCs, for the older listeners, they'll probably remember those terms around quite often. So what sort of options then um, are available at UCM? What sort of things can people study? Oh, whole massive range really. We can start with something like sport through health and social care. We've got business, we've got loads of IT, we've got uh, engineering, we've got a whole different range in construction I should have said really because it's quite a a, a big curriculum area. Um, We've got hospitality and that's one area we really do need to grow on the Isle of Man as well. Uh, The local industries are desperately short. There's not just a way of doing it full-time though there's plenty other ways you can actually gain your vocational qualifications we have lots more apprentices now so people are learning and they're earning while they're doing it and that's a great way of really building up your skills and your qualifications and not going into debt and it's great isn't it because you've got this uh, group of students who who study in this way and then leave and go into the world of employment already fully able to go they don't almost need to be skilled up in certain areas absolutely and just because you've got a, a say for example a, a BTEC diploma in IT doesn't mean you have to go into IT it's just like gaining A levels at a certain level it means that you've got that educational level and there's lots of different jobs you can go and do